guys, this is Heroic Flamingo and welcome to part 42 of my Guild Wars 2 personal story walkthrough. So in this episode we're going to be doing Close the Eye, which is uh, part of chapter 8 of the main personal story. So we need to defeat the Eye of Zaitan. Alright, so we're back in the Straits of Devastation. So we're just on from Fort Trinity, um, so you just got to make your way down here, a couple of waypoints along the way, and then this is where our objective is, right here. Okay, so we're really starting to get into ore now, um, which has been corrupted by Zaitan. Um, so we're seeing quite a lot of um, cool stuff, and we're learning quite a lot more about the game. So let's see, we need to meet Traherne north of the Blighted Battleground, see what he's got to say. We're ready to begin, Commander. Our scouts put the Eye of Zaitan just past this courtyard. I've arranged for some operatives to join the effort. Old friends of yours, I believe. It's good to see you again. You were right. Everyone needs to join together against the dragons. Now we'll repay you for saving our people. We need to spread out and move quickly, but keep each other in sight. I don't want... Hang on. What is that Silvari doing here? You think you're ready to face the eye? You have no idea, none! We're all doomed, all of us! Okay, so not very positive there by that Silvari. We see we've been joined by our Grawl friends. Um, so if you remember a little bit earlier in this story, we had to make a decision of, of who we were gonna sort of like help out, uh, by which group of people. We went with the Grawls, and they've come to help us now. So there was a couple other options, so I suppose, um, depending on which one you chose, you're going to have some coming to help you now. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the brawl. Uh, they make me think of Guild Wars 1 because I remember fighting them in there, especially right at the start of the game. Alright, okay, so let's kill these bastards. Got my flesh golem with me. Oh, a couple of risen, what are they? Drakes. It's pretty cool. You can see like there's like risen versions of like all the stuff you'd normally find around and uh, they all look pretty cool, actually. Alright, let's go see what this ma mad prisoner has to say. The eye! It sees me! It sees into my mind! Into my dream! There's no escape! Be calm. We're here to help. We won't let the eye anywhere near you. But the eye is everywhere! It goes where it will! When it will! It looks! Zaitan sees! We can still save her. We can take her back to Fort Trinity as soon as our mission is complete. Okay, right. Okay, so locate the eye with Traherne. Oh, isn't it so lovely to have Traherne with us? He's so useful. She's hysterical, get rid of her. <laughs> is that a risen, risen farmer? Okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, look, there's a little chicken. Nice. I love his axe, it looks really awesome actually. I love the great sword and everything, that's really cool, but look how cool this axe looks. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, there's another chicken. Alright, so we're closing in on the Eye of Zaitan right now. Um, I think we just want to sort of like. We're building towards obviously some sort of battle with Zaitan and we're sort of breaking his forces down. Uh, so we're going for the eye, which is how he sees. And I think we want to find out a little bit more. I think maybe if we can defeat the eye, then we can cut off, you know, um, Zaitan's vision. Alright, okay. We need the key. So we're going to go for it. So defeat the Orion and take his key. Okay, alright, well we can do that. Killing Risen is our speciality. Oh, okay, let's... I do love the great sword. it's so awesome. See how much damage it does as well. I know obviously this is relatively easy content, but... Christ, he just slays, absolutely slays. Yeah, massively recommend the Reaper, guys. Necromancer is sick anyway, but the Reaper is just awesome elite spec just makes it even better just builds on all the stuff that's good about the um about the neck monster and just makes it even better like obviously upgrading your uh um death shroud to a reaper shroud 
I mean, this content's pretty basic, so I don't even use the Reaper Trap that often. Um, because when I do, it's just like absolutely smashes. There you go. Wipe that out for you. See, that's what I mean. Like, should have done that a bit earlier, I suppose. I'll resurrect my Grawl friend. Oh, I love the way they bounce around. Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the key staff. It's not just a key; it's a key staff. And we'll take that back to Traherne. I'm sure he'll know what to do, as he always does. Protect me while I work. Watch those tentacles up on the ridge. They're gonna slam us hard. Okay, alright, so protect him while he works. Whatever you say, Trahan. Nice. Like that warhorn bit is sick. Oh yeah, Reaper Shroud, bring it on. Oh my god, look at that scythe, it's huge. Who doesn't want to be like some in some dark shroud with a massive massive scythe? Nobody. Alright, okay. Oh, there's... Stuff is dumping stuff on top of us here. Probably stay outside of those, uh... Oh, it's those, um, tentacles. Can I reach it? That's quite far away. I really can't bother to go all the way up there. The, the Grawls are going up there. They'll, they'll sort it out. I'll just kill these guys. I'm lazy. I like that number five skill on the Warhorn as well. Creates like a deathly swarm around you and just, uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, spreads conditions on all the people around you. I like skills like that. That's what I really like about the Necromancer as well. It's got like decent melee options, like, especially obviously with the Reaper, you get the Greatsword and everything, but like, um, even without that, you know, you, uh, like the dagger's pretty sick as well. Like, it has got decent melee options and it's actually quite tanky. I mean, it's got more base health, I think, than the other scholar professions. But also, you know, tankier because of the, the Death Shroud and then later the Reaper Shroud because it's just an extra health bar, really. Um, that, you know, if you do the right um, specializations and everything, skills and everything, you can build up that life force so quickly. Like, if you watch it as I, like, kill enemies, it's, look, uh, there you go, it's full again. Like, it goes up so quickly. So it's really, it's not like it's something you can only use, like, uh, you know, every so often. You can like spend a lot of your time in Reaper Shroud, and that's what a lot of the um, the Necromancer builds are based around. Is is obviously life force and, and going into your shroud, so like building up your um, life force as quick as possible and spending as much time as you possibly can in the shroud, uh, and just using that to uh, to deal as much damage as possible. So. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that's the Eye of Zaitan. Don't know what gave it away. Alright, let's do this. See if this is a bit trickier. I want a bit of a challenge. I, mean, I think the personal story content is, is relatively easy. Oh, this thing's going down pretty easy, to be honest. Hoping for a bit more of a... What's that? That was well too easy. Well done, Commander. Now we have something for the researchers back at Fort Trinity to study. This eye's corpse should tell us more about Zaitan's servants and how he communicates with them. Then the risk was worth the reward. If we learn how Zaitan controls his minions, we can disrupt that control to our advantage. Let's take it back to Fort Trinity. And that poor woman, too. She needs all the help we can provide. All right, okay, so that is mission complete. Close the eye. So let's choose our reward. Sweet, Excellent. Sweet All right, so now we've captured the eye of Zaitan. So the next mission, we're going to see what we're going to do with that. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to be kept up to date, and I will see you later.